What's up guys, I want to do a quick last video in regards to Next.js and OAuth just wrapping up with this token, um, storing it in local storage. So this is just a generic video on how to store local host or local storage in Next.js and to grab a query from the header. So the use case being for us, we're going to pass the token, the refresh token, we want to store that in the client. So Here's what the code looks like. Um, I was really close to getting this to work right. What I did wrong is we're, we're going to just do it like this. We're going to do component will mount. Will mount. And that should be, we should be using did. Uh, real quick, um, qu query is giving us the query headers here. So when we pass it here, ls access. Um, this dot props dot query, and then we can say dot token or dot refresh token. Uh, we are using component did mount here instead of component will mount. Component will mount is called on the server. Component did mount. Well, component will mount is count uh, called twice. We only want this to be called once on the client side. And if we console log client side, we'll see um, we'll see it there. And that's important. So what we're gonna grab is the token and the refresh token to go this dot props dot query. And then all I'm gonna do is local storage that's set item token token. And then same thing for ref oops, same thing for refresh token. And then we're good. So grab it from the URL, store it in the token in local storage. And if I come over here, go to application, you can actually see what local storage looks like. Here's token from before. Actually, it looked like token it was getting stored before. Um, but if you go to application tab and then local storage, you can see it gets stored here. So I'm going to refresh the page, passing in those tokens. Um, notice it yells client side here only once. That's important. And then you can see our tokens saved here. And then what I would do is I would pass these tokens every time I want to make a GraphQL query. And also, just the last note. That's all I wanted to do for this video. Just the login page now works full circle. If I click on this, we go home, we grab our tokens, and then you can do whatever you want. So that's it for this video, guys. Now you know how to. I, I had to learn this myself. I had to not know how they handle it in Next.js. That's how they do it using this static async get initial props. You can get the query props, pass it in, and then you can get it in component did mount. And I'm actually kind of curious. Let's do a little test. So this does work for sure. Let's see if this works. So not using component did mount. Um, I kind of, I'm guessing it will work. So let's put two because we saw the other thing. We saw token in there. So if I refresh, const query of undefined. So it's not in props yet. We're grabbing the query straight from there. So refresh. Okay, local storage is not defined. If local storage, maybe. Yeah, okay, there we go. So this is what I recommend. I like this way better because then you don't have an extra method here and you don't even need to return stuff here if you don't want to. Either way works. It's really just preference of what you like better performance there's not really going to be any difference but make sure you do this if local storage if you want to put it up here all right so that's it for this video guys we got local storage up and running thanks for watching